just gonna be demonstrate a little bit of heavy balls off of our heavy tee. Uh, tee work's great. Everyone's coming up with the new drills and designs, but tra the traditional tee work, they'll never get old. They'll never go out of style. The tee work is where you really train the swing. Okay, so we're gonna be using regular bat, hitting some heavy balls off the heavy tee. Coach, once again, I don't have to reach all the way down for a bucket. I can be right here, put a ball on the tee for him, okay? Or, all right, here we go, we're working fungos. We're good to go. For a kid's purpose, it's very easy to set this up as a kid. Boom, if you check it out, it holds probably 50 balls, okay? So, a little bit more in your typical bucket, but you don't have the problems with the old ones. You don't have these these sleeves slipping off. So the first kind of drill we're gonna run through is traditional arm circles with heavy balls. Just here, right here, just keep it controlled. Let's work up. When you start out, try to do 30 seconds. And from there, I mean, your arms, your first time doing it, 16 ounce balls in his hand, those ligaments are gonna be on fire. And we can go forward, we can go backwards. Oh yeah, we wanna keep nice tight circles. We don't wanna get too big with it. We're just focusing on these ligaments in the shoulder. Then we can do palms up as well, back and forward. Um, our next drill is going to be uh, you're going to have the ball here, kind of 90 degree angles with the arm. I'm going to show them for me. And you're going to try to throw that ball up and catch it really quickly. Oh, yeah. So that, what this is going to work, and think of your arm as in two segments. You have your accelerators that are bringing you down. This is your Ferrari, big engine. And then you got your brakes in the back that slow you down. So this is a good drill, and a lot of these drills are focused on working our D-cell muscles, our brakes. If he's got a Ferrari for an arm, but Honda Civic brakes, we're gonna have some issues here pretty soon. And a lot of kids, they, they always wanna work about on the acceleration, this, this, this. But the thing is, the arm's only gonna go as fast as the brakes allow it. So a lot of these drills are designed to help work your D-cells, work those brakes. Bigger brakes, arm can go faster. All right, our next, next exercise he's gonna do on one knee, he's gonna go through his pitching uh, mechanics. So show me, break those hands out in front, slow it down, stop and hold right here for three seconds, and then work all the way backwards. Throw that ball, you bet. So this is gonna help with the explosiveness and also working on your D-cells a little bit. Yeah, the more you go forward, you also have to work back, right? Absolutely. I'm giving them kind of different size balls, different ounces, just to kind of play with it. You can have systems where one day, when you start off, you use your, your when you're a real beginner starting off, we use our 12 ounce, and we start from there. Um, we can incorporate it 12, 14, 16, or 14, 16, 18, 20. There's a lot of different variations depending on the player. There's no set way to kind of do it. It's all kind of personal. Allie is working on the walkthrough tee. She's focusing on driving her hands through, getting her body through, and finishing strong. 